Don's just dropped down here now at PT Motorsport Electrics to get wired. All ECU Master, PDMs, display, keypad, everything to go into it. So be collecting it in a couple of days. Got everything done. They have most of the looms prepared already. And yeah, we're getting close. So just a couple of days later, we went down to PD Motorsport Electrics. They had all the wiring loom done, installed in literally just, I think it was two, max three days. Uh, unreal turnaround time, everything very, very tidy and neat, just as we wanted and hoped. So the car is back from wiring. We're about to pull out the dot engine, drop in the real one. And this is looking absolutely amazing. Huge thanks to my brother Mike for building this. Really happy with how it is and uh, can't wait to get it inside. Today we're going to be finishing the exhaust and starting our intercooler pipes, so a lot to do. Welcome home. Savage. Now we're talking. Real engine sitting in there for the first time. We'll let her up now and uh, pop in the box, lay on the exhaust and finish the exhaust. Tighten up the mount, straighten it up, do all that shit. So we grabbed the FMIC intercooler laid it up for the very first time, mocked it all up. In the meantime, Bill was working on our intercooler pipes, which are made from alloy. He started TIG welding these up and it actually turned out really, really sweet. The intercooler pipes were supplied from FMIC as well. While Bill was working on the exhaust and intercooler pipes, I started preparing our new ACT triple plate clutch. This is the same clutch we've been using in all of our cars. It's the ACT triple. I stripped it, started cleaning plates down, getting it ready for install. Michael then torqued on the flywheel while I held it in place, laid the clutch up for the first time, fitted all that up, and uh, then we get to the sweet part of our new transmission. So this was a sweet delivery from Samsonis Motorsport. It's their brand new, just released RS90 transmission. I was so happy to see this box arrive. We have the new Samsonis RS90 gearbox. Upgraded compared to the old Samsonis. Um, it's rated for 2,000 horsepower. The gears are four millimeters wider, dog rings two millimeters wider, and it has an internal oil pump as well for lubrication. So some nice changes, nice upgrades, and uh, yeah, I think we're lucky enough to be one of the first people to be using one of these in a drift car, and uh, I can't wait to put it in, and we should be testing it in the next few days. So nice to be getting very, very close. Rear wheel drive uh, Samsonis out of my S14. We got this back in 2016. So years later, it's nice to be upgrading to their latest box. So very later that night, we got a lot of work done during the day, had everything hooked up. We started building oil pressure, doing all our final checks before actually cranking the car for the first time. And uh, it was a very exciting time for myself. My brother Mike was there with me, Michael in the car, just going through the ECU stuff and making sure everything's communicating. Seven gear already. Seven. She wants speed, doesn't That's she? That's the new Samsonis. <laughs> so we're ready, are anyway. we? First, hopefully, start. <laughs> early morning this morning I'm just out of bed but we are going to the dyno today intercooler pipes are made sensors in air intake nitrous 
So in a minute we're going to be fitting these. We got hypertune clamps on the intake side and we got hypertune silicones on the intercooler side just in case of contact with the intercooler mounted down here. Uh, turbo side is done as well so just a few things to tidy up, put it all back together and uh, we should be going to the dyno after lunch. What else we also late last night laid on the vibrant titanium exhaust. Here you can see the tailpiece. Really nice rubber mounts as well. Three heavy duty rubber mounts. Back along the chassis. So yeah, we are making nice progress, but long days. <sighs> right, some food. Okay guys, that's a busy day. Here we have Ignite Racing Fuel. We're down with John Allen, about to give the car first tune. It's been a crazy, crazy few days getting to this point. We're really under pressure for time before the car has been shipped out and to try to get it tested and finished off properly. We want to be as prepared as possible. So to be honest, I haven't been holding the camera as much as I should have been or as much as I would have liked. But, car is on the dyno, and we are about to start tuning. Let's see how she goes. Just over 1.5 bar boost, 670 horsepower, and uh, yeah, that's like what second pull and high enough boost. Yeah, yeah second pull. Yeah, and uh, it's really like it, but uh, the cams are just set in the middle, so we will advance them now and try to get it to uh, come in a bit earlier. Very impressive car is running, absolutely sweet. Sweet. The other, the other fighter was definitely more than that, but. Let's see how she does.
Sweet first day. Oh, getting closer. So 790 horsepower. A lot more responsive. A lot lighter. I cannot wait to drive it. But great day at the office here with John. Big step with the car tuned. Let's get it home and get some sleep. Back to it tomorrow. So our plastics performance window kit has arrived. Just before lunch, we got the back window all marked up and cut out. So today we're gonna be ready to install the windows for good, which is a really nice step of the build, sealing everything up. It's definitely getting a lot closer to being the finished article, thank God. But um, yeah, no, I'm happy with how that looks. Uh, cut some nice curves and looks well in there so when the roof spoiler is on there now as well all the windows in the doors on the body kit back on i think this car is going to look sick but yeah it's been a long few days this week but we made some serious progress we still have some tidying up to do like the catch cans are laid in there just need a bracket made uh same for, for some small bits and pieces that weren't fully finished up tidy all the wiring properly um, before we actually go to the track but overall very very good results yesterday uh, what else are we going to be doing today so yeah the front windscreen's been fitted uh, side windows back window we'll put it back up on the lift and have a good check underneath the car and uh, then we're very close to being ready for alignment setup uh, front and rear corner weights uh, weighing the car for the first time so yeah it's definitely a very interesting part of the build right yeah Like that. Window in, roof spoiler on, looks absolutely sweet. Little curve there for a fuel fill, very, very happy. Here we go. Now it's looking like a car, guys. Right, everyone, so that's it for this week. Once again, I'd like to say huge thanks for all the support from last week's video when we announced the news that we're competing in RDS this year with a Mile Drift Team. I'm so happy and so excited. And so next week, we're gonna be getting into some real action, testing the car for the very first time before it's shipped out. And uh, man, exciting times, that's for sure. See you all next week, guys. Take care and thank you very much.